All this week, we're showing you some of the secret pastimes of some Chicagoans. I got to hang out with the breakfast queen, Ina Pinkney. While she's famous for her food, it's her hidden hobby that really feeds her soul. Thank you. Hi, come on in. That's fine, just come on in. Ina Pinkney is known as the breakfast queen, and for good reason. Chef and owner of Ina's in the trendy West Loop, she's been serving Chicago in some of the tastiest breakfast dishes for nearly 20 years. The atmosphere is as warm and inviting as the ever-present smile on Ina's face. At the end of the day, this celebrity chef has a hidden talent that brings beauty and serenity to her home. Well, I never knew it was a talent, but it turned out to be a hobby that I raise orchids here on the 22nd floor of a high-rise. The high-rise hothouse, as she calls it, got started five years ago when an orchid plant she'd gotten as a gift died, or so she thought. I left it on the windowsill, and I just kept watering it because the leaves were kind of pretty. And all of a sudden, one day, there was a sprout. From that point on, friends started giving her orchids as gifts. With little effort, these exotic plants flourished. I had cymbidiums, and I had dendrobiums, and I had phalaenopsis. These were the simplest ones to grow. Taking this hobby seriously, Ina began researching, learning orchids needed filtered light 80% of the day. She applied a little meteorology in her floral care. The building is situated slightly northeast, and so the winds are coming from the northeast right now, which is why we have all those white caps out there today. But that seems to be the exact perfect light for the orchids. And just as important, watering every 10 days or so. Overwatering can cause root rot and the plants basically drown. It was a customer who taught Ina how to feed the delicate orchids with just the right amount of food. How's that for role reversal? These gorgeous plants will stay in bloom for up to eight weeks. Another tip from the Orchid Authority. If there is a leaf on it that's dying or a bud, you take it off. You don't want them to think that, the, that it's dying. And I think the plants have a sensitivity to that. I was honored that the breakfast queen trusted me to be her sous chef in caring for her orchids that day. You want to find the place where it leads into the stem. You see what I've got for you right there? Right, right there. So right, right here. Right there. And then you want to pinch it off. Right. Just exactly like that. This is so pretty. You're so delicate. I feel like I have Ina's treasures here. <laughs> Gracious host that she is, Ina had no trouble convincing me to share a cup of her special blend coffee with her. Before we left, she shared some of her wisdom with me. The restaurant has a lovely energy to it. It's never a noisy restaurant, but it has energy and it has vitality. And when I come home, the peacefulness that I get from this is what feeds me. Ina tells me it can take anywhere from four months to four weeks for her orchids to rebloom. And her favorite is the South American orchid. It was that deep purple one because of the unique form of the flowers and shapes of the leaves. And yes, she still has the original orchid plant that started this whole thing five years ago. Um, and it continues to rebloom. Wow. Who knew? Wow. I know. Isn't that fun? She's such a cool, cool lady. I love her to death. Uh, I love that. Yeah. It's, it's meant to some videos. I like those myself. They're so beautiful. And she makes it sound so easy. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to try it to see if yeah, we can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget about those good chicken story. waffles you showed there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they look good. Oh my that would you know, <laughs> my reroute around the Eisenhower's right past her restaurant. Uh -uh. There you I go. I'm thinking about going over there and getting some of those. Nice. <laughs> I'll ride with Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.